hello, this is Tak Chung from Walk with Tak. And welcome to my YouTube channel. And if you enjoy this video, uh, please like, subscribe, and share. I'm going to simulate a stir frying approach uh, to simulate uh, the vegetable as being cooked on a grill or roasted in an oven. In this video, I'm going to use my uh, Emusa 14 inch light cast iron wok. Uh, I put in about one and a half tablespoon of uh, canola cooking oil, uh, just enough to cover the bottom of the wok, maybe a little bit more. And then I'm going to let the oil heat up. Uh, this wok heats up really fast, and you need to be a little bit on the careful side. Uh, in here, I probably heat it up a little bit too much as it smoked quite a bit. In this case, I just had my back turned for a few seconds. I, I first add a little bit of uh, carrots, uh, followed by adding a little bit of uh, zucchinis. I call them supplementary ingredients because the broccoli is going to be the main star of the show. And there's one thing I would like you to notice about cooking broccoli. Because of the ferret, the broccoli is like a sponge in soaking up the cooking oil. Right now, if you look at bottom of the wok, there's almost no cooking oil left on the surface. When you don't have cooking oil at the bottom of the wok, the ingredients is going to get burned. And without the oil serving as a barrier, uh, the heat is very intense. Therefore, the food, instead of being cooked, uh, is going to get burned on the surface. And in order to solve this problem, you need to add more oil. Uh, I add about half a tablespoon of cooking oil uh, just over the surface of the food ingredients. In this case, I just want to add enough oil to keep the temperature low uh, without the food getting burned. However, at the same time, I would not want to excess amount of oil. Uh, using this technique means that you should always have your oil squeeze bottle right next to you. And so you are always ready to add a little bit more oil when it seems the need arise. Uh, at this point, it looks like the ingredients get a little bit dry and burn, so I'm going to add a little bit more cooking oil. Again, you don't need to add very much at all, uh, just enough to keep the food from too badly burned. Uh, then you might ask, what if I do not add any cooking oil during this process at all? Well, I have a friend uh, once tried that, and he told me that he ended up eating charcoal. Without the cooking oil served as a buffer, a food would burn readily by the strong heat. And nevertheless, if you look at the ingredients now, you can see there are slight burn on almost all the surfaces. At this is time also you get a workout of your arm because you want to stir the ingredient constantly. In some way this method is intentionally to have the vegetable slightly burned. The charring actually gives the vegetable better flavor. By now the vegetable looks like almost done. I want to make sure that the uh, stem of the broccoli are soft enough. Uh, to be sure, uh, you can do a quick taste test. I'm going to season the vegetable with a light teriyaki sauce, which I'm going to use a combination of hoisin sauce and oyster sauce. And this is what I do when I'm feeling lazy and do not want to get out my seasoning box. Uh, in order to create an intense flavor in the vegetables, uh, I'm not going to add any water. With this approach, the seasoning will be focused and concentrated on the ingredients. And the outcome of this dish is more like you have been grilling the vegetables. Or uh, you might have been roasting the vegetables in the oven. And the lack of uh, moisture in this cooking approach is a signature of grilling and roasting. And we are now simulating this uh, in the wok. Okay, now the dish is done, and the total cook time is a little bit less than 4 minutes. This dish is the direct opposite of the water-based stir-frying, because in this case, uh, we use no water at all. Uh, for most people, including me, uh, this tastes actually significantly better than the water-based stir-fry technique. Uh, however, the compromise is that you're going to consume more calories that will come from the cooking oil. So this is an alternative way uh, to stir-fry vegetables, and you might find it useful at some point of time. If you enjoyed this video, uh, please click like, subscribe, and share. I'll see you next time.